Hello everyone! Magandang buhay sa ating lahat. Tapos na nating natalakay ang lesson 1 natin na skeletal system. Ngayon naman ay tatalakayin natin ang integumentary system. Lesson 2 of the quarter 2 of the science, grade 6. Tara na! But before that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell of my YouTube channel para sa susunod na mga videos ko. Pero bago ang lahat ay magbibigay muna tayo ng credit sa ating Department of Education headed of course by our Secretary, Ma'am Lenore Magtolis Briones together with the Undersecretary, Sir Justado M. San Antonio. Also the development team of the module from the authors, editors, reviewers, illustrators, layout artists, graphic artists, and management team. Thank you so much for coming up into this module so that meron pong matututunan ng ating mga bata. Maraming salamat po. Now, what organs covers your body? How does it protect you? The integumentary system is composed of organs that form the external covering of the body and protects it from many threats from our environment. So itong integumentary system, ito yung mga organs na nasa external. Ibig sabihin, nasa laab, nasa labas. Yung nagko-cover sa ating body na nasa labas, yung skin natin na yan, kasali yan sa integumentary system. At nagpro-protecta ito mula sa maraming threats na makukuha natin sa environment, just like the virus and bacteria. So, importante pala ito sa integumentary system. Without it, our muscles and other internal organs will be exposed to its outside environment. Kung wala ito sa integumentary system, ang ating ibang internal organs, yung mga organs natin na nasa loob, just like our hearts, our lungs, will be exposed to the outside environment. So, mas delikado yun. As you walk through this module, you will be able to describe the parts of the integumentary system and also their function. So, sa pamamagitan ng ating pagtatalakay ngayon ay makikilala natin yung iba't ibang parts at iba't ibang functions ng integumentary system. Handa na ba kayong matuto? Tara na! But before that, I would like to test first your knowledge. Direction. Using the clues, fill in the missing letter for the correct answer to form the correct word. Write your answer in your science journal. So don't you worry guys, don't you worry grade 6. Kasi sa end ng video na ito ay nandudoon po ang ating answer key. So titingnan nyo na lang mamaya kung tama ang inyong naging sagot. So vocabulary builder, number 1. The blank, blank, blank N is the largest organ of the body. Number two, the outer layer of the skin is the blank. Number three, hair, toenails, and blank are also part of the skin. Number four, the blank as waste product of the body comes out of the pores of our skin. And number five, they are tiny holes in the skin where Tiny hairs are located blank. The answers may be pore, sweat, fingernails, epidermis, skin, and hair. Now, tingnan nyo ang sagot sa ating box at try to answer it. Again, sinasabi ko na meron tayong answer key sa last part ng video na to. Now, what is integumentary system? It is composed of organs that form the external covering of the body and protect it from many threats. So, ito na siya sabi ko kanina na ang integumentary system ay ang mga organ na nasa labas ng ating katawan. Ito yung nakikita natin ngayon. Kung titingnan nyo ang mga kamay nyo, meron kayong mga kuko, meron kayong mga fingernails, meron tayong skin. Sila yung integumentary system. Ano ba yung mga threats na pinoprotect tayo ng integumentary system. Infection, desiccation, abrasion, chemical assault, and radiation damage. In humans, the integumentary system comprises the skin and its appendages acting to protect the body from various kinds of damage such as loss of water and damages from the outside. So, ang ating skin, ang ating integumentary system. 
It is also made of specialized cells that secrete melanin to protect the body from the carcinogenic effects of UV rays and cells that have an immune function. Sweat glands that excrete wastes and regulate body temperature and are also part of the antigumentary system. So, meron tayong specialized cells na nag nagsesecrete, nagproproduce ng melanin. Ano ba yung gamit ng melanin? To protect the body from the carcinogenic effects. Yung mga carcinogenic effects, yung nakakapag-cause ng cancer. So, meron tayong mga cells na yan na nagproproduce ng melanin para malabanan yung mga carcinogenic effects of UV rays and cells that have immune functions. Meron din tayong mga cells na merong function sa ating immune. Ibig sabihin, sila yung kumukron sa mga diseases, sa mga viruses, sa mga bacteria na pumapasok sa loob ng ating katawan. Meron din tayong tinatawag na sweat glands. Pag sinabing sweat glands, ito yung nag -e excrete ng waste and regulate body temperature. Ibig sabihin, sila yung naglalabas ng mga sobra-sobrang water sa ating katawan in a form of pawis. So, pag pinapawisan tayo, kasi si sweat glands ang nag -e excrete niyan. They also regulate our body temperature. So, ibig sabihin sila yung may trabaho. Bakit hindi tayo mainit, hindi tayo maginaw? Because of our sweat gland. So, importante pala itong integumentary system. Ngayon ay may ipapakita ako sa inyong picture. So, meron yung pore of sweat gland, epidermis, dermis, hypodermis, and sweat gland. The direction is for you to analyze the picture of the skin and answer the following questions. Number one, the outer layer of the skin is blank. Number two, it is known as the layer directly below the epidermis. Number three, beneath or ilalim ng dermis is the blank, a layer of connective tissues that stores fat and helps the body retaining heat. Number four, the blank is a tabular structure located in the skin whose function is to and produce sweat. And number five, the blank is the opening upon the skin of the hair follicle which extends downwards through several layers of skin. Again, study ninyo yung, yung picture na nakita ninyo and try to answer the questions. Pero, ito yung sinasabi ko, meron tayong answer key sa huling part ng video neto. So, makikita ninyo at makokompare ninyo kung tama ba ang naging hula ninyo sa tamang sagot. The integumentary system consists of the skin. Ito yung parts. Skin, hair, nails, glands, and nerves. Its main function is to act as a buyer to protect the body from the outside environment. So, ito yung pinakaunang function ng integumentary system. To act as a barrier para maging hadlang siya sa mga foreign bodies na papasok sa ating katawan just like the virus, bacteria, and so on, other one, the UV rays, and so on and so forth. So, nagpro-protect talaga sila sa body natin. It also helps to retain body fluids, protects against disease, eliminates waste products, and regulates body temperatures. Ito pa yung iba't ibang gamit ng integumentary system. In order to do these things, the integumentary system works with all the other systems of our body. Each of them has a role to play in maintaining the internal conditions that a human body needs to function properly. So ito si integumentary system ay nakikipagtrabaho din ito sa ibang system ng ating katawan para ma-maintain yung healthy living ng isang tao. So, ibig sabihin, ito si integumentary system ay merong connection sa iba't ibang system sa ating katawan upang mas ma-maintain, upang makipagtulungan siya na ma-maintain, na ma-healthy yung body ng isang tao. The integumentary system serves as one of the first lines of defense of our body against pathogens. So, ibig sabihin, sila, yung, sila talaga yung unang harang para hindi makapasok yung mga pathogens. Ano ba yung mga pathogens? Ito yung mga foreign material na papasok sa katawan natin na nagdudulot ng mga sakit. So, ano yung mga, mga unang depensa ng ating katawan para hindi sila makapasok? Hair helps keep you warm. So, ang ating, ang ating buhok ay para maging warm ang ating katawan. Nails, give structure to the ends of our fingers. 
glands, release oils for moisture and protection, at nerves, send and receive messages to the brain. Ito yung apat na nagsiserve ng depensa sa ating body. Ang hair, ang nails, ang glands, at ang nerves. Ang nail natin para mabigyan ng structure ang ating mga kamay. Ang glands naman para magre-release sila ng mga oil at para moisture, ma-maintain yung mamasama sa para protected tayo. Ang nerves, sila yung nagsisend at nagre-receive ng messages mula sa brain. Kasi mer itong si brain, ito yung master master controller of our body. So para makapagkuha ng messages, kailangan natin si nerves. Example, gusto mong may hawakan ka sa kamay mo. So magsisend yun ng message papunta sa brain. Okay, brain, gusto niyang hawakan ito. So si brain naman, magsisend ng message, okay, hawakan mo. The moment na sinabi ni brain na hawakan mo, hahawakan mo na siya. Now, we will be discussing the functions of the integumentary system. Number one, protect the body's internal living tissues and organs. Pinakauna at pinakaimportanting function niya is to protect. Pinoprotektahan niya yung body's internal living tissues. Ibig sabihin yung kung ano ang nasa loob ng ating katawan, pinoprotektahan ng integumentary system. Number two, protects against invasion by infectious organisms. Ito yung mga pathogens, yung mga viruses, mga bacteria. Ang ating integumentary system ang pumipigil sa kanila para makapasok sa loob. Number three, protects the body from dehydration. Okay, pinoprotektahan din ang ating katawan na madehydrate or mawalan ng level ng tubig. So, sa pamamagitan ng integumentary system ay kinokontrol nila na madehydrate yung isang tao. Number four, protects the body against abrupt changes in temperature. Okay, example, um, mula sa malamig na, malamig na country, below 16 degrees Celsius, biglang uminit ng 30 degrees Celsius. So, sa pamamagitan ni integumentary system, nakakapag-adjust ang ating katawan sa abrupt changes ng temperatura. Number five, helps in disposing waste materials. So, meron tayong mga waste materials. So, ito si integumentary system ang tumutulong sa atin para maipalabas natin yung mga basura na yun, just like ang ating mga pawis. So, si integumentary system ang bahalang magpalabas nun. Acts as a receptor for touch, pressure, pain, heat, and cold. Yung skin natin. So, sila yung receptor. Pag touch natin, nakikita natin or nararamdaman natin ang masakit, ang mainit, ang cold, and etc. etc. And number seven, stores water and fat. So, ito si integumentary system ang tagatago ng water at ng fat sa ating katawan. So, if you could see the picture again na pinakita kanina, ito yung tinatawag the layers of the skin. So, tingnan nyo, ang hair shaft, ito niyo yung mga buhok na tumutubo sa atin. Nandyan din yung hair root sa ilalim. Tingnan nyo, ang hair root. So, nandyan din yung sweat gland. Again, uulitin ko yung sweat gland. Siya yung bahala na makapag-produce ng mga pawis, ng mga sweat, ng mga excess water at ilalabas niya yun sa ating skin. Meron din tayong pore of sweat gland. So, dyan dumadaan ang mga excess water para lumabas ito sa ating katawan. The epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. So, yan yung mga layers of the skin. You have to study each question carefully and explain your answer briefly. Write your answer in your science journal. Number one, describe the parts of the integumentary system. Number two, explain how the parts of integumentary system work together. Number three, why is the skin considered as the first line of defense of our body against microorganism? So, number one, it describe nyo daw yung integumentary system. Number two, explain nyo daw yung parts at ano yung mga ano yung functions ng integumentary system. Number three, bakit ang skin daw considered as the first line of defense of our body against microorganism? Now, you have to complete the map below and write your answers in your science journal. So, integumentary system, ano yung different parts? So, mag-name ka ng lima at ano yung function ng lima na yon. So, yun ang gagawin ninyo. Under what you can do, you have to read each statement carefully and discuss your answer briefly. Give at least two practices for each question. 
So number one, too much exposure to the sun can damage your skin. What should you do to protect your skin from sunburn? Okay, sobrang exposure daw ng init ng araw ay nakakadamage ng ating skin. Ano daw ang gagawin nyo para ma-protect ang ating skin mula sa sunburn? Magbigay kayo ng dalawang practices or answer. Number two, one of the most dangerous diseases of integumentary system is skin cancer. What would you do to avoid skin cancer? So, pinaka-dangerous disease ay ang skin cancer. Ano daw ang gagawin ninyo para ma-avoid nyo ang skin cancer? Read the following statements carefully. Write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong. Write your answers in your science journal. Again, the answer key is provided sa last part ng video na ito. Number one, too much exposure of the ultraviolet rays of the skin is good for the skin. Number two, the fingernails must be properly trimmed to prevent the accumulation of dirt and other unwanted substances. Number three, in keeping our skin, nails, and hair healthy, we must avoid using products with strong chemicals. Number four, consulting the dermatologist regularly is highly encouraged to maintain good health of your integumentary system. And number five, integumentary system is considered as one of the first lines of defense of our body against pathogens. So here is our answer key. I hope na makukuha ninyo ito at may matutunan kayo habang kinocompare niyo yung answer ninyo sa answer key natin. This has been Sir Alan Madino. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share this video para sa iba't iba pa mga video na i-upload ko. Thank you so much and God bless you all.